This is West Leaderville. This is the main entrance from Railway Parade for Wesley Rail Station. You can see there's this weird road ramp which just comes up to platform level from the road below and then goes back down. So you could practically pick someone up here if you wanted to. And you could just drive onto the platform. It's actually wide enough. But that would obviously get you in trouble with the police. See, so you can just go straight through there. Anyway, here is the platform. We're straight on it. An open station smart radio processor and a hut, which you can see they actually made black now because I think they're changing all of the hut stations so they can show the airport line as well. And they're putting screen displays in it, some of them, I think. And then in the hut, we've got ticket machine, information point, emergency point, defibrillator, and sanitizer, just like usual. So the original Fremantle to Guildford Railway did not have a station here at West Leaderville and it wasn't until the 12th of July 1897 when the track was realigned through a new cutting that this station was opened as just Leaderville but then later it was renamed to West Leaderville on the 1st of February 1913 because that's the name of this area since Leaderville is on the what is it like eastern side of the Mitchell freeway where the Junlap line Leaderville station is which you can watch in the top right corner so over here you can see these weird white and gold structures. This is an artwork actually, which you can see information about on here. It was just built to symbolize the footbridge that used to go across the tracks here, and it's since been demolished. You can see a picture of it on here. Uh, yeah, right there. So just a lot of information. This station is like a museum on, for transport, one of the most historic railway stations there is because you got this footbridge and you've got a lot of like other heritage things like down on the street where it lists some of the buildings that used to be around here and then you've also got an abandoned platform yes an abandoned platform which is just over there which we're going to take a look at at the end of the video after the train clips but that was due to the Subiaco Oval that used to be here until 2017 because that was a football oval until Perth Stadium opened, or Optus Stadium, and it was the main place where they held football events, which means this station was much more busy sometimes when there was an event. And they actually extended the platforms in 2005 to accommodate for six carriage trains during the events, and the third platform was for Mandurah Line services that ran express to Canning Bridge and terminated here, but now it's no longer used anymore. Here on the street there's a little bus stop for school services, which you can see it's only six of them a day. Although these are regular routes, so you can use them if you want to. Although it's obviously not marked as a bus interchange because this is so minimally used. But there's quite a lot of stopping patterns for this. This is Railway Parade right here and the West Leaderville commercial area. So I'll show you the sign that I was talking about here on the street, just over there. Now, if you want to get onto the Perth platform, you can just go straight up there, but the Fremantle platform, you actually have to go all the way around and through the underpass there, which I'll show you. Here's the sign. You can pause if you want to read that. Anyway, yeah, so the Fremantle platform, you have to go under this subway, which is just to go under the tracks generally, not part of the station. And there's some art in here, you can see on there. Well, it's not really a subway, it's just underpass, under the tracks. Subway is like when you go down and in like the tunnel. Um, yeah, and then you come out onto the other side. This bit here is actually Subiaco. The border between Subiaco and West Leaderville runs down here. Because the station is located 2.7 kilometers from Perth. In Fair Zone 1, just two stations out of Perth. And it serves West Leaderville on the northern side, but Subiaco on the southern side. Now over there is the PSP, which you can see on that bridge, and it just goes across the path there, quite strangely. And then here it just connects up, so you can access the PSP from the ramp up to the platform, right there. And then the PSP goes down, while you can go back up here and you enter onto platform 2 
for trains to Fremantle. So this is pretty much one of the only hot stations which is long enough for six car trains because of the stadium that used to be here. But now that's pretty much pointless until they upgrade all the stations so that six car trains can always run. Now, there's the abandoned platform which I was talking about. If you can see it right there in the distance, the uh, Perth bound track has a little curve off it to serve that platform and then it goes back on. So it's like just a little thing on the side of the tracks. And yeah, so that's where you used to go. But I can't believe that this station used to serve the massive football crowds. And now you have that six platform per stadium station compared to this little hut station. And so there's a train now coming in. We'll go and look at that platform afterwards.
All right, here we are just walking along Railway Parade. A few hundred meters to the west of the station is the abandoned platform, which is now just behind this barbed wire fence, so you really can't get in there. Uh, so there's the sign. You can see entrance for wheelchairs was here. And then there's another entrance further up, so they can still open this gate if they ever need the platform. But it probably won't be used anytime soon. Um, so the football oval, they demolished it in like 2018 and it was finished by 2019. But the actual grass has gone to Bob Hall College as their oval for the school, which is cool, you know, you're, you, you can play on what used to be a football over where lots of famous football players played. So there was the staircase down onto the platform as well. It's a really, really bland platform though. Like imagine a six car B-series train that goes all the way to Mandra from here. That's just really weird. And here we go now, just departing the station on a Fremantle bound B-series train. We're just gonna see the abandoned platform again. Let me just quickly rate the station. I'm just gonna give it a rating of two stars. It's a little hot station. If the footbridge was there, it would be better, but it's not very good, except that the platforms are lengthened and it's got quite a bit of history, so it's more fun to be around. But in terms of just commuter use, it's quite hard, especially when you have to go all the way down to that public underpass to get to the other platform. Next station, Subiaco.